Harry, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Ever since the World Cup, the Ministry has been intercepting more and more hours, and she's too easily recognized. We need to talk, Harry, face to face. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night, and make sure you're alone. Serious. P.S. Ah! The bird bites. Ah. Serious. Harry Potter, age 12. Suspect entrant in the Triwizard Tournament. His eyes swimming with the ghosts of his past. I took you back to you. So let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No! Shh! I had to ask. Now, tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vorderbore, but who was the third man in the room? I don't know. You didn't hear a name? No. Um, Voldemort was giving him my job to do. Something important. And what was that? He wanted... Me. I don't know why, but he was going to use this man to get to me. But, I mean, it was only a dream, right? Yes. Is it just a dream? Look, Harry. The Death Eaters at the World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. What are you saying? I'm saying the devils are inside the walls. Igor Karkaroff. He was a Death Eater, and no one, no one stops being a Death Eater. Then there's Barty Crouch, Heart of Stone, sent his own son to Azkaban. Do you think one of them put my name in the goblet? I haven't a clue who put your name in that goblet, Harry, but whoever did is no friend to you. People die in this tournament. I'm not ready for this, Sirius. You don't have a choice. Someone's coming. Keep your friends close, Harry. Who are you talking to? What? Who says I was talking to anyone? I heard voices. Maybe you're imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. You're probably just practicing for your next interview, I expect. 